Okay, so in my last uh, video I showed you a few things. Uh, the arena, the castle, and the Russian noobs. Um, but I guess I should really kind of explain why I made this channel and why I named it Admin Abuse. Um, basically, like, I help out all the lower-end players, uh, people who just start out. Um, I have no problem teaching them. I actually enjoy helping them learn how to play the game. Uh, but when they start to get needy and constantly ask for things, um, it annoys the shit out of me. So, basically, I just fuck with them somehow. Um, there was one time, um, some Russians kept on asking for different things, and I kept on telling them no, and eventually they got to an airdrop. So, while, um, uh, when they got to the, uh, asked about the airdrop, I was like, okay, give me a minute. So, I went up to the tower that Justin built. That thing. And at that point in time, it was only about this tall. So I went to the top of the tower, and I threw out a supply grenade. And so it landed somewhere around, uh, I think, about that area. Uh, all the supply crates landed around here. And they started coming, so I told Justin to start shooting at them. And right when one of them got to the uh, supply crate, I just, right behind them, 100 wolves. Actually, let's see if it works right now, so you can kind of see what happens when you do that. Uh, pretend that bush is the uh, supply crate. Mm. That is what happens. Just a shitload of them. I know it's not a hundred of them, but it is just amazing like how they just come out and like just spread out. Uh, but yeah, it was like right where that bush was and then right behind them. And then all of a sudden, some of the wolves just started running at them. And then you just see the guy just run up here and just about 10, 15 wolves following him. He ends up dying. Uh, it was very hilarious. Uh, but another thing, because uh, uh, I'm the admin and I abuse my powers by uh, <sighs> using admin door. I don't ever take anything from anyone. I just go inside to investigate or whatnot. I don't know why all of his doors are open. But, we have been building this tower up pretty high for the fact of the airdrops. Oh god. I would just teleport to it, but that would mean I would have to teleport down and then back up. I can only teleport in the line of sight. Or, I guess, through the floor. I think. I guess not. The fuck. Oh god. Alright, so,
what we are going to do is call in a hundred airdrops. If I can get this right. There it goes. Now, as far as I know, um, that was a hundred, but just uh, we've done other times where there has been uh, way more than what I typed in. Uh, but as far as I know, uh, the airdrops only drop in like this area. They do not go all the way out past this mountain. Even if you call in an airdrop on the other side, it will not happen. Um, I haven't tested a smoke signal. We can do that right now, actually. And I'm dead. Oh, no, no, still alive. That's nice. Um, yeah, even though I have God Mode on, for some reason I can still die from falls. I think it's kind of stupid. Oh God. All right, so for those of you who might be wondering, I use an outside program called Rusty, which directly connects to my um, Archon giving me admin ad access, and I can uh, send myself stuff, I can teleport myself or other players to other players or other players to other players. Um, I can even teleport myself to myself, which is kind of interesting. Um, I can change the time, I can kick and ban, which uh, doesn't really work too well. Um, supply grenade, where are you? Supply signal. Uh, so if you're an admin, I definitely suggest picking that up. It is very useful. You can also uh, chat through it. Let's go back down to the floor. So that's the mountain over there. On the other side of that is the... Uh, the road and stuff like that. The road and all the buildings. So let's just throw this over here. Oh shit. A lot farther away than I thought. Oh, there's the plane. So yeah, it does uh, come over here only if you have a supply signal. So if you're gonna like camp out here, um, you're gonna have a lot of problems. A, the airdrop will never come over here unless you have a supply grenade. Uh, yeah, we got one. Um, and B, there are absolutely no resources down here other than trees. Uh, you will not find any wood. You will not find any bears. You will not find any rocks either. So, this is not that great of a place to be. I'm kind of interested in what they are going to do with it. Um, we only use like a quarter of the map. down here. I can also sometimes teleport to it, but I don't want to do that because usually I die. So I kind of want to see what's in this. Should be able to shoot out the uh, parachute, make it fall faster, you know, real life type stuff.
Ah, fuck it, I don't care. Sorry, teleport. Wee! I died. Uh, respawn on the camp. My respawn point is on top of the hangar. At some point in time, I'm gonna start making my respawn point um, on top of people's bases. Just put a whole bunch of uh, sleeping bags all over. My teleportation devices. All right, so we are going back to the tower. It's sometimes tricky to get your pinpoint location. Fuck it. Box. Alright. Useful. Um, so, before you saw me do 100 airdrops, my friend and I did um, over 9,000. And I'm going to show you what that's like. It gets pretty interesting. 9,001 over 9,000. Um, what's going to happen is you're going to see a halo and then you're going to see my screen lag. So it should start lagging up. Yep, right now. Now, right now, it just stays that way for a few seconds, and then it just jumps. And then you see a whole bunch all over the place. Oh. Once this comes back on, you'll see the planes all over the place. Oh, maybe not. Come on. Every time I do this, it's a little bit different than before. Um, there's been times where you've had planes down closer to the ground. Um, uh, times where, like, the whole entire sky has been just nothing but planes. Um, and for those of you that don't know, the planes actually do uh, create a shadow. This is okay, awesome. Good time of day. There we go. Planes are moving in. Oh, wow, we got two halos this time. So as you can see, they're at two different levels of height. And, well, never see one disappear. Uh, the planes actually have fairly decent detail for what I was expecting. Uh, like, from the ground, it just looks like it's just a plane. I wasn't even expecting them to have, like, detailed tops. Um, hopefully, some of the planes will glitch down, and I'll be able to show you from top view. Um, right now, like, I can move around, but that's just client side. Um, server side is completely lagged up. Uh, if I were to try to teleport or fire or uh, anything that requires server use, it would not happen at all. Uh, uh, 
I never noticed from the ground, but uh, the hatches are open. They're always open. That's just how it comes in. Uh, but it's just kind of neat to know that now. This is going to take a little while. Eventually, the server will lag out and kick me out. Um, but the game... Ooh, look at that. We got part of a plane in the ground. Another one in the ground over there. Oh, there's some low-flying ones over there. I wish I were closer, though. Oh, nice. There we go. So, there you can see some of the top view. I've had them... Oh, nice. An airdrop in the water. Um, I've had them show up relatively, like, really close, like, right around in this area. Uh, so you can see the top view. I think I'm too far away for the shadowing. I wish I was close to the ground, because you could actually see a, a full shadow outline uh, for the planes on the ground. But, there's part of the plane. It's actually handling relatively well compared to the last few times I've done it. Reload my gun. Oh, I don't have any. Let me switch. Nope. I don't think so. Uh, nothing happens if you shoot at the planes. Uh, I've tried many times to shoot at them. Um, I've tried teleporting to them. It's not, as far as I know, I can't do it. Uh, they move way too fast. It'd be nice to uh, teleport inside of the bay once. Just fly with it. It will change up here. Um, again, and then usually after that I'm kicked out. There it goes. Oh, nice. Very nice. Sorry about this video being so long, but the process of itself, until I get kicked out, uh, is actually kind of long, so... Maybe I'll cut it up, I don't know. I'm kind of lazy when it comes to stuff.
if I could only teleport right now. It's a little hard to move around. Um, it's kind of hard for you to tell, but I'm constantly moving the mouse over and over and over. Um, try to get around this. Chose the time when the server was dead to uh, do this. Um, oh wait, I was fucking with anyone while they were building or whatnot. But during the process, they would not be able to log on. Period. Um, they'd be able to open the game, but if they try to come on the server, uh, it just would say connecting the entire time. And I'll show you that uh, once it kicks me out. Uh, Oh, let's try that. Where are the other things going to be? I really want to teleport to that. But as you can see... Oh, I'm going to do it, Dave. Uh, as you can see, uh, teleportation is in there. Phone going off. Um, well, definitely gonna have to edit this out until the log out. Maybe there it is. Am I being logged out now? Yep, that's it. Um, so, if I were to uh, try and go back in... It says connecting the entire time. And then it brings up this... Error occurred. Server. Sometimes it does connect, um, but it doesn't go anywhere. Let's see here. Right now, Rusty is still connected, though. I doubt it could send out any commands, so. Yep, and that's just what happens over and over. We'll try one more time to see if we can get the uh, actual connect. And not gonna happen. Alright, well, that's what happens when you have over 9,000 airdrops.
Uh, I'm about to go reset the server. Uh, all the airdrops will be gone. There will be no supply crates. So, 